the next one is going to be awesome. Oh wow, that totally picked me out. I mean, right now I talk too much. My mouth hurts. Hola, bienvenidos a mi canal. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a... What am I naming this? Today's video is going to be my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes. Now, I think in the beginning of my channel, like three years ago, I did a similar thing. Um, I think I did like top five holy grail palettes, but... This time, I'm gonna do just my most used, my most prized possessions I'll never get rid of, and I think that they're worth the money, whether it's a drugstore or high-end. Um, so this is just like my all-time favorites, just my all-time favorite palettes that I love. Does that, can I make it any more clear? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I know, let's just, the elephant in the room, besides me. I know that I didn't post last Sunday and there's no excuse. So none of you, some of you guys probably didn't even notice, but I just want to acknowledge that I'm just like, you know, I know that I didn't. I just didn't have a video prepared and ready to go. So that was that. Anyways, so um, yeah, if you're new to my channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Cassie and I post videos on literally anything and everything that your heart desires um any suggestions always feel free to leave it down on the comments on any of my videos um don't be shy and subscribe to my channel and become part of the crazy family that we got going and growing here um what else yeah everyone who's watching if you really like this video at the end don't forget to hit the like button it really helps my um, videos be pushed out there for other people to see in their, you know, recommended. And then also, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know, you know, what's good. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know your favorite palettes. And maybe I haven't tried it and I just like need to try it. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <sighs> Anyways. Okay, let's just jump into the video. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start with our first palette. I think I'm gonna go from, in no particular order of like my favorite and my least favorite, I think I'm just gonna go by size and I think I'm gonna start with the smallest palette and work our way to the biggest palette. So um, I think I'm also gonna leave prices for you guys. I have my phone here, so I'm just gonna go and um, see if I can get prices. Okay, so the first palette is going to be the smallest one of the bunch, I guess. It's just different size from the other one, but anyways, this is going to be the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air. I will be inserting videos of, like, closer up um, so you guys can see, but this is Rosé in the Air, and it's a Wet n Wild palette. This palette goes for $4.99, I believe, and I absolutely love this palette. I remember when I first purchased it, because, I mean... $4.99, let's be real, it's not, you know, it's not pricey right there, it's very affordable, um, but I remember when I first purchased it, I literally used it for like two weeks, three weeks strong, these colors blend so well, the shimmers, you wouldn't, well, there's two shimmers, yeah, the shimmers, you wouldn't even think that they'd be that good, but they're actually really good, that orange color is probably my favorite, this huge, like, pukey color is like the best transition shade and that pink is very vibrant like you just can't really go i mean you really can't go wrong it has every color for every um for multiple looks i mean, just really think that this is very much worth it because it blends well and it's just you know the packaging is just plastic nothing to it but for $4.99 i can't really complain and i still grab for this whenever i need a quick little like simple but you know natural looking um look i grabbed for this one and i really love it so this one made it on my list i will never get rid of her i mean unless she's like super old but even then i probably still wouldn't want to get rid of her 
So the next one is a new addition to my makeup collection, but honestly instantly fell in love with it i think i did a first impressions on my channel i'm not sure what video it was but if i can find the video i will link it either down below or in the cards somewhere here but anyways it is the blushing berries by dose of colors and if i'm really which if i'm gonna be real with you guys the only reason i bought this palette and i think i mentioned it in the review as well is for the brush the brush is such a dope like dual ended like tiny so good for your under eye trouble looking for brushes to blend out the under eye i just feel like some of them are just too big too stiff um doesn't really do the job kind of blows it out a little bit too much i just dread doing my under eye sometimes but this brush honestly is one of the few ones that i actually enjoy using underneath my eye underneath my eye on my under eye <laughs> But it's really good and I heard nothing but good things about it and I'm like a brush how can a brush be that amazing But honestly, it's fucking amazing and then this is what the palette looks obviously we got a palette too But I really really love this palette first of all definitely my color story. I love berries. I love Pinky shades. I feel like they look really well with my complexion um so obviously I gravitated toward this, but honestly these blend so well. Um, you're not gonna get that much diversity in this palette. I mean, you can create vampy looks, you can create, you know, dark, more glam looks, you can create more subtle looks, but it's all gonna be in the same pink family, but I have nothing against that. If that's something that you like, I think that you would love this palette because the colors are just, chef's kiss they are just so good they blend so well and this is my first time using dose of color dose of colors um what's that called eyeshadows <laughs> eyeshadows and i can say that i'm really impressed this palette was more on the pricier side i get this one i think off of ulta and it was 32.99 um so yeah it's gonna be a little more pricey but honestly i think it's worth it alone for the brush but not only do you get this awesome brush but you get these awesome colors and i think they have like three no maybe more than that like five different like um color families they have like an orange one they have more like i think an army green one i think that they just ugh, they just released that um but they have different colored ones too so you don't have to stick to the blushing berries i probably would go with the orange one too just because i love anything orange um so yeah i just really love it i think it's worth it and i will never let you go the next one is going to be a very much loved one it's a little beat up so don't mind that i just i give it a lot of love um speaking of orange <laughs> um this is the orange you glad pa um, palette pressed powder palette from ColourPop. First of all, when I first saw this palette, I instantly fell in love. Orange is my favorite, probably, color to wear on my face and on my eyes. I just feel like it looks so good. It goes with so many, like, different colors, like, outfits. You don't have to only be wearing orange to wear orange in your eyes. I just think it complements so many looks. And this palette, alone for this middle shade, oh my god. I fucking love that middle shade. That middle shade... I would pay, I think this is $16, for that middle shade alone. It is so good. Um, I usually pop it in my inner corners. I think I have a look on my Instagram using this palette, and I did pop it. All I did was pop that in my inner corner with some liquid eyeliner, and it was a look. It was a look, and I freaking love it. I just think you can create so many different looks. Although it's all orange, there's so many different tones of oranges. You've got your brights. You got your more deeper ones you got your more lighter ones the warmer the you know um more on the peachy side <sighs> i just can't say any more good things about this palette um but the price for this one is 12 dollars so that's not bad at all this is another one that's like good for the price i think it's worth it you're gonna get your money's worth because these bling, blend ugh, these blend like a drain I'm gonna do the next ones together just because I feel like they kind of go with each other um, and just so this 
video is not a million years long. So the two palettes I'm going to talk about next that I literally am obsessed with, ugh, obsessed, obsessed with is going to be the Dream Street and the Zodiac palette, both from Kathleen Lights times ColourPop. I'm obsessed. First of all, if you know me, you know that I am obsessed with Kathleen Lights. I basically started my channel because of her because I was so inspired by her I just think that she's so real so down to earth such a chill ass bitch and I just fuck with her I fuck with her a lot and so I support literally almost anything that she kind of releases um with that being said um these are honestly it's not a although I am biased this is not a biased opinion I absolutely and you'll see this one gets a lot of love. This one was the first one that was released before the Zodiac palette. And I use this one non-stop. I even use the blue shade. I've used all of them. I use all the shimmer shades. I've used this palette up. My favorite is this orange. As you can tell, it already has a dent in it. But it's so good. It's so pigmented. Like, I just am obsessed with them. These are so good. Then she released. She had the audacity to release the Zodiac palette. First of all, obsessed with astrology. Secondly, look at this. Look at these. Colors are so beautiful. And I just actually posted um, in the video before this. Um, before, yeah, before this. I posted a look using this color. And I used the blue color, which is Aquarius. Which is what she is. <laughs> but anyways, um, yes. And I love this palette. I haven't used this palette as much as I've used this one. But I equally love it just as well i just these are not that wearable as this palette is but it is still so good i just wish that i could create more looks with this these they don't sell this one anymore ColourPop, unfortunately was a limited release but if you have your hands on it you're a lucky ass bitch because these are fucking good this one i don't think they sell it either i think this was a limited release but like i said both of these are so bomb so bomb they're so fire they're so good like i just have nothing bad to say about these and these were 16 dollars each which is not bad for what that's for 12 a 12 shade palette that's not bad at all i think it's so worth it but um yeah like i said i'm sorry you can't get your hands on it because i think they don't sell them anymore don't mark i mean don't mark my words though if any of these, if you can still get any of these palettes, I will link them down below just to make it easier for you guys because I'm that bitch, I guess. Moving on. So, <laughs> I'm going to move on to someone who, you know, in some people's terms is canceled. Uh, but also, in my terms, I don't believe in cancel culture, so I'm not going to cancel this person and i think you already know who i'm talking about so i might be canceled after this but i don't care the person that i'm going to be talking about is jeffree star himself and this is the androgyny palette i think this is his second eyeshadow palette if i'm right if i'm not wrong if i'm right if i'm not wrong this is his second um eyeshadow palette it is so good it blends so well i mainly love it the most for this orange shade right here i use this as a blush i love this color it is so effing good this red so bright so pigmented so good and i've used all actually i use this whole bottom row i use i think almost every color i don't think i've used um dominatrix but i've used every single other one and i absolutely love them first of all this shit these pans are so huge when are you ever gonna hit pan you this better be your only palette in your collection in order for you to like hit pan on this bitch but like i said this palette is just so good i he killed it with this one and this is one of his new his oldest releases um he has come out with so much more since then but this so good that orange i'm telling you that orange perfect blush i absolutely love it and this one is um retail at 45 dollars, and he actually does still sell it on his website so if you're interested i think it's worth it okay, so the next palette is going to be another youtuber sensation 
and his name is Manny M U A, and it's the Life's a Drag. Look at this packaging. Like the packaging alone killed it. Beautiful, love it. Um, this is the palette I'm actually wearing on my eyes today. I'm wearing Snatch and Kai Kai on my eyes. Oh, and Beat on my eyes today. If you guys want to see a look, hit the like button and comment down below. Anyways, love this palette. I have been using this one recently a lot. Like a lot because I'm trying to venture out with color a little bit more. Stop being so scarce. Palette is actually still available and it was $42 I believe. Is that what you said, Manny? Is that what you said, Manny girl? $42 on Lunar Beauty. And yeah, isn't this beautiful? I just love this this palette because it's one of my like most colorful palettes that I have. Um, but I love it because you see this whole section right here, that's your neutral. If you just want to go neutral and not have to worry about, you know, using colors or something being a little too, like, not wearable or outrageous for you, stick to this side. You got your black, always got a need of black, always got a white, and then you got these beautiful transition shades that are nice and simple, and then you have these two beautiful shimmers, one's a champagne, the other one's a gold that you can use with either look. As you can tell, I'm using the champagne one with a more brighter look, but if you're going with a toned down, you can use either one. I mean, you know, the world is your fucking oyster. Do what you want with it. Um, but yeah, I just fucking love it because you can do two different kind of looks. You can do very colorful or you can do very wearable. I mean, it's truly up to you. I wore my makeup with this to work today. They were probably looking at me like, this bitch, where's she going? What does she think she's doing? She looks fucking crazy. Probably I did, but I don't give a fuck. Like, I honestly truly don't give a fuck because I feel like I look good. So we're gonna stick with that. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways. So this brush that it comes with also, I wanted to speak about because I have been loving this brush. It's just like the Blushing Berries brush. This brush is so good for your under eyes. I absolutely love it. It's like a tapered, mm, kind of like packing fluffy brush. It's like all in one. Um, and it's also very good to like blend your under eye. I just love it. And then it has this smaller side, which I love to use to pack the shimmer in the corner. Fucking love this palette. I've been recently obsessed with it and I'm just happy. I think that's definitely worth your money if you want to, if it's like your first palette, your first colorful palette that you want to like start trying out, I think it's very good because the colorful shades are very blendable. They are not choppy, they're not like too pigmented or like too, they're pigmented, don't get me wrong. But they're not like crazy where it's going to um, be a mess or it's hard to blend. Everything blends so seamless, seamlessly, and I just love it. I think I talked enough about this palette. Let's move on. So the last palette I'm going to talk about today is going to be another YouTuber. Are you surprised? I'm sorry, but these YouTubers be making some good ass makeup. Um, it's going to be the So Jaded palette from Kathleen Light and ColourPop. Hello, and I won't talk too much about it because y'all already know how I feel about her. Y'all already know how I feel about ColourPop. I mean, ColourPop all the effing time, but this is what it looks like. It is so beautiful. So I got the Life of Drag palette before I got this palette because it was out way, way um, before it. But I love how this is the same kind of concept as far as like, it's very colorful, but it's also very wearable. You can either go both ways. And even the colorful shades can become wearable just depending on what colors you pair it with. Everything blends so fucking beautiful in this palette. I absolutely love, where is it? Emerald, beautiful as shade, period. That's a, oh, it's peridot. I'm over here saying period, like, you're so ratchet. <laughs> peridot, such a beautiful color. Like, this diamond is such a beautiful like um highlight for your eye your eyebrow a nice little like simple highlight for your inner corner i just everything in here is so beautiful ruby one of my favorites ruby is actually i think my birthstone i think so tell me if i'm wrong i don't know but yes like i said i'm not going to stand 
here and talk too much about it, but honestly, this is one of my favorite palettes from ColourPop, one of my favorite palettes from Caffeine Lights, and even compared to all the other ones, I think she fucking killed it with this one, and this one, I'll never let go. I could use this palette every single day. I could literally get rid of all my palettes and use this one every day and be fucking happy. I'm not gonna do that, because that would be insane. <laughs> But I could if I wanted to. Do you, do you get, are you following me? You get, you get what I'm saying? That's how much I love it. Anyways, so the So Jaded palette is worth... This one was $39. Yeah, $30 to $40. But you get how many shades do you get? 35? You get 35 shades. 35 shades? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wow. You get 35 shades. That's actually not bad for $39. Um... I think that that's a good deal. I mean, this one is 42 and it's less shades than this one. So, I mean, you do the math, you, cause I'm dumb, I'm not gonna do the math. But I think it's very much worth it. Unfortunately, not in stock, not being sold anymore. It was a limited supply. So if you do have your hands on this, I mean, you're one of the lucky, you're one of the lucky bunch. Okay, well, that's it you guys. Out of all my palettes that I have, and I have a shit ton, that I should probably get rid of some, but I'm not going to. That's a different story for a different day. Um, but out of all my palettes, these are the ones that I reach for all the time, that I love, and that I will probably never get rid of. Um, I absolutely think that they're worth their, your money. If you are in the market of looking for a palette, some of these are not available anymore, and I'm sorry about that, but I just have to be honest with my, um, with you guys and I want to show you the ones that I reach for um, some of these are still available so the ones that are I will link them down below for you guys to make it easier and you can just click away you know what I'm saying but anyways that is the end of the video that is it we have covered it all um thank you guys so much for watching my whole video I appreciate you guys making it this far if you made it this far and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel forget to give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it and yeah i will see you guys in my next video next sunday thank you so much love you guys bye